Hey everybody! Today I've got the most humongous Your Toy Box ever! This is, I think, my number 10 Your Toy Box, which is called a Colossal Box. I think that's what they call it. I don't know. I've only seen one other video of a Colossal Box. But look, this is my regular size box. See? This is what I usually get every month. And then this one is like, I don't know, three or four times, probably at least three times the size of this one. And it's really heavy. It's like, uh... I think the mail thing said it's seven pounds. I don't know if that's exactly correct, but it did say seven pounds on it. So let me open this up. Um, so I guess every time you get 10 of these, the 10th one is a giant, like a bonus box for the same price, I think. Um, so let's see what's in here. I'm super, super excited. Okay, we got bubble wrap to keep everything nice and secure. Oh, Ninja Turtle, giant, giant, and then look at that. Oh, okay, this is really big. Uh, Michelangelo, I think, it's kind of orange, unless it's faded red. And I think that's orange. So this is Michelangelo. I have one kind of like this. I don't know if it's the exact same size. Or a little bigger, but I have one almost kind of exactly the same. I'll have to compare them later. But this is really cool. This is like the uh, the original, like first generation Ninja Turtles, and uh, they're posable and they're sculpted just exactly the same. This one doesn't have a belt, but that's okay. None of my other ones do either. The belts are really hard to find. Um, I think there's a guy that makes belts for these and sells them. It's very cool. Oops, I like Michelangelo a lot. Okay, let's put that right there. Let's see. Okay, this looks like a Star Wars, um, I think it's a, like a, uh, a droid. I don't, I don't know what this is, but, ah, uh, look at that. They, they both move. I wonder if you could put batteries in the internet. Let's see. Hasbro? Lucasfilm? Um... Let's see. I wonder if this takes batteries on it. I'm not sure. This is like really cool and posable and stuff. Look at, look at that! I've never seen this in the store. Oh! Check this out! Look at that! This is so awesome! I don't have this! I've never even seen it before. Look, it's got a little seat. You got controls for driving it. There's spears in there. This has to be like battery powered or something, doesn't it? This is, it's really, really heavy. I'm not sure if it, it, it does stuff or not. I'll have to uh, search this up on, online and see. It feels like, like the, the weight of it just makes me feel like there's some kind of motor or something inside it. Or, I don't know. Really cool. Let me see if I can. Uh oh, wait. Um, like it can roll if you get the feet out of the way, or if you put the feet down. Let's see. Uh, can it support itself? I'm not sure. Kind of, but yeah, I don't know. I it feels like. It should run on batteries or something. All right, that's enough about that. Oh, there's a lightsaber. Look at this lightsaber. I don't think I have this one. This is a, is this a Darth Vader lightsaber? I'm not sure. Let's see. That one's kind of like this. Um, it's got a belt hook thing. Let's see. What else is in? Take some batteries. Let's see, Hasbro, the one I have that's kind of like this is one of the cheap, the Rubies costume brands. This is a, an official Hasbro one. Let's see. This is really cool. It's like a 
I don't know if this is, I think this is like a, maybe a kid size, but I'm not sure. It's about, let's see, it's about three feet long. It's about one foot. That's about another foot. That's about another foot. Very cool. I like it a lot. Oh, there's a giant X-Wing in here. Look at this X-Wing. This is the same line as the, uh, I think they sent me, uh, some some little figure some little people this from the same uh, um let's see I think maybe that's the space for an R two D two if you have it with this thing so like pop up piece right there the wings go into the X formation. The cockpit for p putting a driver or a pilot. It's really nice. This is really heavy. Let's see. Doesn't have landing gear or anything. But it's very nice. It's 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 like good condition. Doesn't look like it's been played with at all, really. Alright. Put that over there. Oh, there's a little is this is the A wing or something? What is this? Give me this. Um, oh, this one actually has a name on it. Oh, it's a snow speeder. Yeah. I need uh, some snow for this one. Let's see. I think it's a uh, cockpit. I don't know if this is a, for micro machines. This one's really nice. Let's see. Star Wars Action Fleet. 1995. Let's get a little uh, landing gear. Very cool. I think that's a hole for putting it on a stand, maybe. Alright. Very nice. This, I think, is a micro machines thing. Um, yeah, micro machines. Probably like a mini playset. A transforming mini playset. That kind of looks like a magnet. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, that comes off. Let's see. I think this opens up somehow. Don't know how. What is this? Oh, it's like a. It's like a little shop, I guess. I think it's like a, you can drive, it's like a drive through. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what this is. But I know it's, it's for micro machines. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little convenience shop or gas station. Or a car, it's like a, a an automotive fixing place. Garage. Gas station. Alright, that is cool. Okay, looks like we have oh, a couple more things. This is probably another micro machines thing, a bigger one. Okay, the lube, definitely micro machines. Okay, oh, check that out. Tune up center. Let's see, you can come into here and get stuff done to your car. You can park in here. Let's see. It's a little secret compartment in there. What does it say? Computer tune. I don't know if it does anything in it. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, check that out. So you could like drive up to here and then pull up and get fixed, get work done, get like an oil change or something. Super awesome. I love this. I don't have this or the other one. I don't have any of this stuff in this box except for maybe the Michelangelo, but I'm not sure. But I think I saw recently someone turned one of the 
those big ones into a slash. So that, that I might think about doing that. This is really cool. Okay, and I think this is the last thing, unless there's flat stuff on the bottom. This is like three pounds or something. We have Trivial Pursuit Star Wars Classic Trilogy Collector's Edition. Let's see. Ah, there's a sticker for the uh, Micro Machines thing. Okay. Ooh, I wonder if it comes with that R2D2. Trivial Pursuit. Let's see. Game board. Pewter tokens. Electronic R2D2 randomizer. 2000 questions. Photo cards. Sneak preview. Ah, oh, so cool. Let's see if it has all the stuff in it. Paper, some rules and stuff. It's got a really big board. Like that. Okay, we have all these little things right here. And we have a little R2D2. Super awesome. Love R2D2. I wonder, I wonder if the batteries work. <gasps> oh! Okay, so I guess it's like a dice roller, so you could be like I'm rolling the dice. I'm rolling the dice. I got three? I guess. That sounded like a telephone. Five. All right, here are the pewter pieces. Looks like we got Princess Leia. And let's see, is that Luke? Looks like he's wearing an X-Wing suit, kind of. We've got Han Solo. And we've got very heavy Darth Vader. This one's like twice as heavy as the other ones. Then we got a huge stack of cards here. And a huge stack of cards here. I wonder if they're different. Let's see. Looks like these are all... Oh, they're all mixed up. Some of them have pictures. They all have questions on the back. Let's see. There's all different pictures. And then, so how do you do this? You go, who said wars not make one great? Okay, so there's a bunch of different questions. Who gave the order to lock S foils in attack position during the second Death Star battle? What duo knelt to welcome the Emperor to the second Death Star. What part of the second Death Star did Rebel Starfighters attempt to knock out? Who had a droid in charge of his labor pool? And what was C-3PO's three-word response when startled by Jabba's door scanner? Okay, so where do you find the answers? Okay, here are the answers right there. So how do you... Are you supposed... How do you, do you put it face down and not look at the answers? I don't, I'm not, I've never actually played Trivial Pursuit. Because, like, if you hold it like this to read the questions, then the other people can see the answers, can't they? Unless you're, like, hiding them. I don't, I don't have to, I, I've never played this, so I don't know the rules. But, anyways, that's really cool. There's so many of them. And it looks like they all have questions on them. Here's a couple others right here. And here's some right here. I'll let you figure out the answers for yourself. But any, oops, wait, that's the answers. But anyways, thank you for watching my colossal Your Toy Box. If you get 10 Your Toy Boxes delivered to your house, the 10th one will be this giant size one. And they're about $25 each in the United States. Subscribe to see you when I put out new videos. And thank you for watching.
Bye.